Hey, thanks for tuning in. I'm Jared from 3C's Recreation, and today I'm gonna to give you guys a little rundown of the stepper motor that is on all the fuel-injected beta four-stroke motorcycles. The stepper motor is a secondary air passage in the throttle body that kind of acts like a choke, uh, and it also helps with like elevation change. So anytime you take your bike to a new area, so if we're at like 2,000 feet here, and we go to Florida, you wanna like start your bike, let it go through this procedure to let the bike fine tune, know where it's at and run proper. Your bike can run poor, it can idle wrong. There's a lot of symptoms and sometimes people just need to do this simple procedure and it'll help clean up their running issues. Sometimes other common issues are even like a battery that isn't perfectly charged. So if your bike is running weird, try this and then also put a new battery in it. So my setup here at the shop, I'm a little bit lucky because I have the beta tool and I'm just going to have this here so I can show you guys exactly what I'm doing. So I've got my tool plugged into the bike. Anytime we have a tool plugged in, we always want to have our battery in the charger. So we've got a lithium charger here. This is my exhaust system here for the bike so we can run it. And then we always unplug the headlights on these bikes because anytime your tool's plugged in, everything's active. So it would be sucking juice. So that's unplugged there. So the stepper motor learn process for you at home is really simple as a customer. All you have to do is start your bike and let it run until it hits 95 degrees. And when that is running, it can, you cannot touch the throttle and it has to be a dead cold engine. This bike has not been started and it's cold. So we'll show you the computer here. Engine temp currently is 24 degrees Celsius. And if we go, I can do like activation. So as a dealer, I can see if the stepper motor is even working here. So I can go stepper, activate, and up top, you might hear it. I'm not sure if you can on the... I don't know if you guys could hear that or not, but the stepper motor, so at least I know as a dealer, the stepper motor is working. And if I go back up to my status here, as a dealer, I can also see where the stepper motor is. So it's at 1.7%, and the acceptable range is plus or minus 8. So we are, we are good on mine. I've never really had an issue with the stepper motor uh, on a bike. It is good, though, like once a year, to take your stepper motor off the bike and clean it. Um, and I'll post a better picture here, but... This is our stepper motor, it's on the side. And again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean these pictures up and we'll, we'll post them in there nicely. If that stepper motor has dirt in it, it's not gonna wanna let it move in and out like it should. So what I'm gonna try to do in the workshop here is my goal with this video is to show you guys how long does it actually take for the bike to come up to temperature here. And I'm gonna convert this because in here, okay, so no, uh, 85 degrees Celsius, which is what we have here the stepper motor will start to change and then at 95 degrees is when it locks in. But for you guys at home that do not have this computer, how do you know when you hit 95 degrees? So this is a stock Beta 430. This is a 2021. It does not have a cooling fan. Um, we're inside temperature. We're in the shop today because it is still snowing here in western New York, even though it's April 2nd. So we're over it. We want to be riding today but instead we're gonna give you guys a cool video on this. So what I'll do now is we'll start the bike from dead cold. We're not gonna to touch the throttle. You cannot touch that. And we'll tell you guys how long does it take to get to 95 degrees. So we'll do that now. So it's gonna get loud while this process is going on because we're gonna have our cooling fan plus this bike running. So like right now, it's uh, engine temp on this is currently at 23, that's room temperature. And then if you look down here, here's my stopwatch. So that way you guys can, if you're at a track and it's, I think inside here, it's like 64 degrees. So um, we will now start the stopwatch and we'll start the bike.
All right, so my computer is about to die. So real quick before it turns off, at 85 degrees, you saw this number start to change a lot, and we went from 1.7 to negative 3.75. So that that little arm in there moved a lot. So this bike, that's a perfect example of today's temperature at this level of elevation, you need to let the bike start and warm up. So my phone here showed us that it took seven minutes that's to say eight minutes. So if you go to Florida to ride for the weekend, pull your bike outside, let it warm up while you're putting your gear on. That way you can know that it's gonna idle right and it's gonna run right for your elevation. Every time a new bike comes in, we do this at the shop. So I'm excited that it actually showed that and at 85 degrees, it started to change. And then it did settle in right at 95 degrees. So. For you guys at home that don't have this tool, don't worry about it. Just start your bike when you start to ride and you'll get to that um, eight minute mark and you should be good to go. I am Jared from 3Cs Recreation. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel. If you need beta parts and if you're in the US, I'd love to be your dealer. Give me a call. We can drop ship around the country. We offer free shipping and discounts on parts if you get to a certain level on the shipping. Um, again, Jared at 3Cs and uh, subscribe to our channel. I appreciate it.